Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm going to be cooking up Harvey's Wine Burger out of Phoenix, Arizona. And I cannot tell you how many times I was actually saying a more infamous name instead of Harvey's Wine Burger. Anyway, let's get going. So Harvey's Wine Burger opened up like over 65 years ago, right around like 1957, 1958 in Phoenix. And it's a bar and grill cooking up some killer burgers serving up some great drinks, and they're very famous for a burger that they actually use Bordeaux wine in the cooking of this burger, and that's what we're going to do right now. So we're using my wildfire griddle. This side's medium high, this side's low. And here's that, this is 80-20. And I didn't weigh this, I'm gauging the size of my patty, the diameter off of the buns they're using. I just want it to be proportionately accurate, but they're pretty thick burgers, and this is probably a little over a half of an inch thick. Hit with some kosher salt. A little bit more salt. Throw down some butter. Some hamburger buns here. Using just regular unseeded buns. Got good color coming up the side of the burger here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. Nice, right, look at that crust. We got that Bordeaux wine. All right, so American cheese. All right, let's build this burger. Burger patty down. And this is how they're going to serve up the burger. Basically kind of open face with all of the veg on the side on a plate of fries. I don't have the fries. I'm bummed about that. And you dress it yourself. You dress it how you want. You can eat it just like this if you want or load it up. And what I'm gonna do, because I really wanna taste the wine, is I'm simply going to put some mayo on the top bun and that's it as far as you know condiments. And I'm gonna build a burger. I like, I like some veg on a burger every once in a while. Now normally, this is, so they're using green leaf lettuce, and normally I'm gonna put the lettuce on the bottom underneath the bun. I just think it makes for kind of a little bit less of a slippery burger. Excuse my fingers, but I'm the one eating this, so. There we go. We'll go with a couple rings of onion, tomato, and some pickles, and then the crown. That's a pretty burger. Look at that, it's gorgeous. This is a burger, I mean, it's just w what people think of when they think of an American burger, you know, that all the colors and everything. Cheers. Oh. Here, <laughs> there's the inside, sorry guys. I meant to slice this for you, but I got so excited. And this is store-bought burger meat, you know, hamburger meat. I, I didn't want to go too, too rare. It's like a, it's like a medium. So it's nice and juicy. Uh, surprisingly enough, I am getting that wine flavor, that kind of nice funky wine flavor. Mmm. Nice toast on the buns. Um, you know, the veg is coming through. The, the best way to describe this burr's flavor, it's just, it's a very clean, clean burger. It's not getting, um, there's nothing really overpowering it. I mean that, the meat is really shining through. Wow. Didn't really expect to taste the wine. I, I thought it was more of a gimmick. Hmm. So this falls under, and I know this uh, burger as far as at least competitions in Phoenix, They've consistently won like best burger in Phoenix. It's just very good. I mean, it's a very, very good, very simple burger and everything's working well together. And again, I'm just sort of amazed that the, I'm tasting, <laughs> tasting that Bordeaux. I'm almost done with it. Anyway, I'm glad I got that suggestion. That's cool. And Arizona is not too, too far from me. I definitely want to try stop by Harvey's and check out their burgers. 
but it looks like a really cool place just looking at their website, you know, looking at the photos. But anyway, thank you for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell, thumb it up if you like the video, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.